proper water parameters. This is absolutely huge. So for number seven, do you have the water parameters that are necessary for your fish to breed? I would say a lot of times this is a parameter that is one of the most important. It's also one of the most easily correctable if you're willing to put in the work. And so for instance, if you're breeding a lot of the Rift Lake African cichlids, you're gonna need harder water with a higher pH. If you're breeding a lot of the fish from South America, maybe you're a Pistogramma, or maybe you're German Blue Rams, or maybe you've got some Neons that you're trying to breed, you might need softer water with a lower pH. And so you're really gonna to wanna to do your research as to what the proper water parameters are for breeding. There's a lot of fish that will actually do well and maybe even thrive at water parameter ranges that are really close to the edge. But if you want to breed those fish, you've got to get much closer to optimal water parameters 